and they say it takes a village, it is. There are great efforts being done, but there's still more work to do. Parents of children lost to gun violence are demanding action to save future lives. Every day, more than 100 Americans are killed with guns in the United States, and one Saginaw woman knows the pain of losing someone to gun violence all too well. As TV5's Blake Keller shows us, parents in mid-Michigan are choosing faith over trauma. They, they may pull that trigger, but there's families. Right. We're impacted. Tamara Tucker, lifelong Saginaw resident, dealing with the loss of five of her family members. She could say it's unfair, but that would go against her faith. The way God works things out. The most painful loss for Tucker came in March 2019. Her daughter, Monisha, who was pregnant at the time, was gunned down in her Saginaw home. When, when she was murdered, it was like my world was crushed. My world was crushed. You know what? Parent want to lose their child. That was, that was the most awful thing in the world to encounter. But that's a whole different hurt when you lose your child. I put this picture on today because I felt like uh, this was her sultry, cute look. But most times she always had a, a big smile on her face. And Tucker's lifetime tragedy from gun violence struck three other times. She lost her sister Tia in 2019, her brother Elton when she was only 15, and most recent her nephew Tyrone Simmons Jr. who died in September this year. He was a good dad. He was a good dad. Took care of his babies. He has two children that he left behind. Lives changed forever. Tucker's would too when she revived the local chapter of the Parents of Murdered Children organization. Her friend, Markeen Baker, providing needed support. One thing, I haven't directly been impacted, right? But that doesn't mean that I can't be an ally. You know what I mean? Because not everybody has that, that power to experience something like that and hold it together. It wasn't until our interview she had an epiphany. And when I picked up, it was this, this right here, I got so choked up. I'm like, these are my recent family members, my family members. I have four, actually five, because my daughter was pregnant. So yeah. five family members right here in my hand, like this is the end result of the violence. When parents are ready to talk, the group is there to help in the grieving process. In one way or another, it helped Tucker grieve too. December 6th of 2020, she told me, she said, Mom, you still have to live. And I, that day I was able to cry and release that hurt and that pain from losing her. That was a miracle. It was unreal, but my faith, my faith held me together. And that strong support system often goes beyond mourning. It's, it's hard for some people to just come and just be able to sit and talk about it without missing that person. So we try and be there and let them know, hey, we're here to help. Whenever you're ready, whenever you are ready, I'm here. I am. I'm listening. I understand. Nobody wants to be a part of this group. So this group, Tired. Although no one wants to be in it, it's a great um, release. You never really truly heal from it, but it's a great remedy to continue to get those things off your chest. Both Tucker and Baker say there's a lot of layers when it comes to preventing gun violence. Having the right voices and community engagement come to their mind. But this organization is a good place to start. It helped me to see that I had been living with fear from the time mm -hmm. my brother was killed mm -hmm. till um, then. And I was struggling as a parent to raise my children to let go, to let them go out in the community to live. And they say, don't, don't question God. No, you can question God. And he, he'll he give you the answers and he will also put your heart at peace. In Saginaw, I'm Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. The organization meets at Newer Dimensions Fellowship Ministries in Carleton Township. Now, if you are a local parent experiencing grief from the loss of your child, we have the organization's information on our website, WNEM.com.